This year's Comtex coverage is sponsored by Corsair. I believe we're recording, which means it's time to talk about the Asus booth here at Computex 2018. Yes, I'll tone down the zany, annoying voice, don't worry. We'll start off with some new laptops, and there are two. One is aimed at MOBA gamers, it's called the Hero. The other one is aimed at first-person shooters, so of course it's called the Scar. So the main thing you'll notice compared to the older generation of Asus gaming laptops is not only that this is a little bit thinner, um, but the bezels themselves are much, much thinner. That's the main headline thing here that you're going to notice. So spec-wise, we've got a GTX 1070 in these. I believe in the Hero it's the 1060, but there is some customization options in there. They've changed up the heat pipes and the way the cooling system works as well to keep it cooler and quieter. Um, but I have to say I really do like the direction they're taking here because I don't mind the bottom bezel being that little bit thicker if it's going to mean that the top ones are thinner. Now something that is completely new and that we haven't seen before is some water liquid cooling all in one unit. It's a very large looking block and if I'm honest I don't find it to be the most attractive thing out there but realistically there is a reason for this and it's because there is actually a fan inside the block which should help to keep everything running that little bit cooler. It's got a RGB element on the front and then we've got a screen that can show you some uh, live information or you can just put some form of photo, sticker, whatever you want on there. We've seen some very stupid things being placed on this thing so far, uh, but I'm sure most of us will want to keep it very tasteful. So that's the big boy. I'm not entirely sure that I'm convinced by that, but there we go. There is another one over there. This one is, the, this one, this monitor, is the PG34V, what is it, the PG35VQ, which is the 200 hertz HDR monitor. We've seen that before. They say it's coming soon. Still don't have any release dates. Sorry about that one. I know that's gonna annoy you. Then over here, we've got what I would say is the more attractive of the new coolers. It's a bit more reminiscent to stuff we've seen before, which means it's a little bit more tasteful. It almost looks a bit like a smartwatch is the way I'd describe it. Again, got that screen on the front that can give you some information in real time, or here we've just got the ROG logo. Next up, we've got everybody's favorite, the PG27UQ, which is the 4K 144 Hertz HDR quantum dot monitor. This one should be out within the next couple of weeks, I guess, from you watching this. Uh, we've already done a full video documenting this if you want to check that one out um, with my hands on time. But the new thing is over here. And yes, we have Thor's hammer, but no, it's actually a power supply, which I think looks pretty damn good. It's 1200 watt, though they say a 850 watt version will be available very, very soon. Uh, we've got RGB elements on the front as well, and then it also gives you some live information, which is showing you exactly how much power is being used at the same time. I think that Cooler Masters 1 takes this a little bit further, but I think this one is more attractive. So maybe it depends on the case you're going for or the exact style you want. Um, but nice to see some new power supplies on the market. Whether they are going to be worth it over something like a Corsair or um, something from any other brand really, I guess we have to wait and see. Now let's talk peripherals because I've wanted Asus ROG to make some wireless stuff and I've wanted there to be an RGB mouse mat that also has Qi charging. And I'm very pleased to announce, that was almost the wrong mouse, that we have the Gladius 2 wireless. It's slightly different to the normal Gladius 2 because you'll notice that it's missing the side sniper button, which is something I actually really like. So I'm a little bit disappointed to see that that's gone, but it sits upon this Qi charging wireless mouse mat, which has RGB lighting, which goes around the side. There's a button that actually controls all the lighting. So the logo lights up and then it goes around the outside. But I'm a little disappointed because the mouse mat requires two cables at the back, one for powering the RGB and then the other actually for um, powering the Qi charger. So you don't have to use both if you don't want. But the main thing that's a little bit baffling to me is that this doesn't have Qi charging. It's just a standard mouse, which is probably not a big deal for most people because most people probably won't buy the mouse mat and the mouse. But it seems weird not to sell it like a complete set like you have with Corsair or Logitech. And then the other thing is because you've got those two cables, I just question why not just use USB-C and then you have one cable that goes down to your computer. And uh, I, I don't like RGB mouse mats because they require an extra cable on your desk. And it would have made sense if it was gonna charge up the mouse and any other Qi charging device you have. But as you can see, I'm perhaps a little bit confused. But of course, we need to talk about the big one. This, the ROG phone. Did we need a phone from Asus? 
Whoa, we already had some with the Zen phones. Did we need a phone from ROG? Well, this is a gaming phone, so it's set to take on the likes of the Razer phone. I'm sure we'll probably see some more gaming phones uh, in the future. But not only do we have something that is fully spec'd out, we've got something that sort of completely takes a redesign to the next level. We've got attachments like this active cooling fan that goes on the back. It all connects underneath. There's a secondary connector, so you can charge it while you're using it and then use that headphone jack. Or you can plug additional things in that will allow you to hook this up to a TV or a monitor and then use it as almost like a gaming PC, which is a pretty cool concept. It's definitely got a fair bit of heft to it. The screen itself is OLED, it's 90 hertz, so it's not as fast as the Razer phone, but it's also a lot more color accurate. It's HDR and it has a mode that means that whenever you're looking at something that doesn't support HDR natively, it will then add that. And sometimes it can look a little bit over the top, but I have to say, if you're someone that does play a lot of games on your phone, this could definitely be a strong contender for next phone for you because it's a gaming phone that's built for gaming and it does a very good job at that. Next to it as well is something that we haven't seen before. It's this, the new Delta headset. And this is a high-end headset, but it connects over USB-C, which is something we haven't seen before. We're starting to see it on headphones, but now you can connect this to your PC, your phone, and pretty much anything that accepts USB-C. It's definitely the best-looking RGB headset I've seen so far, but anyone that knows me will know that I don't like RGB headsets because you can't see it when you're wearing it. But if you're watching a Twitch stream or something like that, then this will definitely look very, very good. Audio quality seems to be good as well, though I can't really tell from a five-minute spin uh, with these head headsets, these headphones. Um, so I guess we will have to test this um, in the coming months. But that is pretty much us from the Asus booth. Definitely a lot of stuff to talk about. What do you guys like? What do you guys think that they're doing right? And would you buy the ROG phone or a gaming phone in general? Really interested to hear your thoughts as always, so let me know down in the comment section below. For more videos from Competex, there should be a little playlist or click the links in the description or in the end screen. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks to Corsair for bringing us out here and sponsoring this coverage. And I'll see you next time.